quickly, only to find it comes on just as quickly. The minute we stopped what we were doing that, that achieved a rapid weight loss. Rapid weight loss comes with uh, either a very restrictive eating plan, uh, trauma, or it comes from excessive exercise. Okay, sometimes it comes with the help of medicinals that are stimulants. But rapid weight loss is very difficult to maintain because it is such a drastic change from what you're used to doing through um, your regular habits. So my challenge is that if you aim for a one to two pound weight loss, if that is your goal, per week, then that is achievable. But what does it take to lose one pound a week? It simply means finding 3,500 calories in a week, deficit to what you normally eat. 3,500 calories a week, okay, divided by seven, that's 500 calories a day. How do you find 500 calories a day? Guess what? It's not so hard, okay? 500 calories less than what you normally eat. Has anyone got any idea how you could find 500 calories? What would that look like? switch from, if you drink coffee, a switch from full cream milk to 2% milk. Is it doable? Absolutely. Okay, that may, that's going to contribute to some. So look at the activities or the foods that you eat regularly on a consistent basis and see how do I switch that to be a slightly lower calorie intake and let's see what I can achieve. So for instance, if I switched uh, from having cream cheese that was full fat cream cheese, 109 calories for a tablespoon. If I switch to low fat cream cheese, I'm at 70 calories, all right? Does that make sense to make that kind of a switch? And if I always, or I often have this kind of food, it makes sense over the course of time to find the slightly lower calorie version and let that accumulate for you into some calorie loss and some calorie deficit. It's not a big deal for us then. We're not looking at a small, such a small plate of food that we're feeling hungry or deprived all the time. We're finding optimal ways to eat what we like to eat by finding um, the lowest calorie version of that kind without sacrificing nutrition. A sandwich, if most people when they go to Subway or go to get a sandwich or make themselves a sandwich, typically think, okay, I need meat, cheese, and, and maybe I'll have some vegetables. I often get asked, can I have cheese, when people are trying to look for ways to optimize their diet. And I say, well, maybe you could look for cheese and have cheese in a place where you're really going to taste it. Do you taste it in that sandwich? And most people end up saying, well, not really. So maybe if I take out that slice of cheese or slices of cheese that are in that sandwich, is that a big deal to me? Am I still going to enjoy the sandwich? Probably so. So what am I looking at? If I skip the cheese, 90 calories a slice, okay two slices of cheese, 180 calories out of 500 I had to find that day to have less of, to lose one pound of weight. 52 pounds a year that is. Okay, I'm not saying that you need to lose 52 pounds a year, but is it doable? Is it doable for us to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks? It's doable. We don't have to look very far to do it. What's the other way that you can find 500 calories other than food? exercise. Okay, how much exercise? Okay, that decision is yours. How much exercise do I want to do? Or do I want to make nutritional changes? Or can I make them both um, and find some through nutritional changes and some through exercise? A 45 minute kickboxing class, 300, no, let's say, what was it, 400 and some calories? If you work out like me. Uh, I spend right at 800 calories an hour. Okay. Right, so 45 minutes is uh, yeah, between 500 and 600 calories a day, uh, a, a session, okay? So if you're putting in your effort, maximum effort, that's what you're going to burn, done in a class, okay. providing you perform to your maximum, and you all have been through the UBC program, so you know your rating, you know how to rate your effort in that class, sometimes you'll be able to put in maximum effort and get that amount out. Sometimes you're not operating at that, so be truthful to yourself and gauge how much out you're spending in that in that particular class. In the band class, it's 250 to 300 calories, so you're still burning fuel um, in those classes. 
Do not make the mistake, though, of saying, oh, I worked out today, I can have. All right, we're still looking for a deficit. Don't compensate your physical activity with extra food. Some people will do that. That's called maintenance. <laughs> you know, that's kind of where you're at. You know, if you're trying to maintain, you've got some wiggle room there. If your objective is to continue one pound a, a week, we can find 500 calories very quickly. And some of that can and should come from physical activity. But I challenge you, it doesn't have to be a huge overhaul in your um, diet. It doesn't have to be someone saying, you can't have a carbohydrate. No more carbohydrates. We need carbohydrates. We just need the right kind and in, in the right balance uh, and try to keep our insulin low. So we don't need to go on a radical diet, but we do need to find 500 calories. And I guarantee you, you'll have permanent weight loss. And it's not going to be through what you thought was restricted behavior. That's a key thing. Because if somebody tells you you can't, everyone had a, had a, had a fasting blood test. What they tell you what not to do on a fasting blood test? You've got to go into the lab in the morning. But what they say to you? Nothing. Nothing. Not even that morning coffee. And how badly do you want that coffee? Not as bad as any other morning, right? But if somebody said you can't have, it gives what you want more of. You gotta, you want that. It's on your mind. You gotta have it. So if somebody says no, not ever, or no, you can't have. You're thinking about it and you're thinking that in some way you are restricted. That's not a good way to go about things because at some point you're either going to fall off and have that thing and then what are you going to do? Beat yourself up over doing it <laughs> because you thought the rule said, no, you can't. All right, so I wanted to be just looking at what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and finding opportunities to switch out a couple of things if you like pizza. Pizza's not optimal food, however, Four, at 400 calories a slice of just cheese pizza, and that's Papa John's, you might say, okay, I'm going to choose to have pizza, but I'm gonna, sub, uh, I'm gonna supplement with a big salad so that I feel satisfied, but I still have pizza, rather than have another 400 calorie slice of pizza. Okay, then it's gonna find, you're gonna find it really hard to find 500 calories in that day to drop off. But can you have pizza? Yeah, you know, it's, it's allowed once in a while, supplement with um, a big salad to satisfy your, your hunger at that point. So just going for a walk, you don't think that you have to do a kickboxing class, going for a 45 minute walk, 160 calories, raking the leaves for an hour, we've got, let's say, 250 calories, jumping in the leaves after you <laughs> raked them up. <laughs> Or if the husband raked him up and then you jump in him, oh, and then he's chasing you. Well, you're burning off a lot. So look at little things and ways that you can get and lose these ca um, calories in incidental ways during day-to-day -day life. Has anybody ever worn a pedometer? Okay, if you ever do, and I, I this is a great exercise because I did this um, last year. And I put my pedometer on because I was curious about how many steps I was doing, knowing that the government says 10,000 steps a day is what we should be doing to maintain good health. I was so peeved. I was doing like 7,000 and I thought I was doing good. You know, I thought I was pretty active. I was so annoyed that I'm not. I wasn't. So again, you know, it's me being a challenge by something, I was doing all I could and some days I would get to like 6 o'clock at night and I'd be at that 7,000 mark and I would just I'd be beside myself and I'd grab the kids and say, we've got to go for a walk, you know, just because I wanted to see what it took to get 10,000 10, steps. But 10,000 steps in a day is 500 calories. So that could be a way for you to get some feedback on how well am I doing for 500 calories. Okay? So that would be my second success habit. Find 500 calories a day if your aim is to lose one pound of weight loss each week and do it without being too restrictive.